It's August 8th, and I'm catching baby lizards today out of some of these trams that they've hatched in. So this trame is a collar and lizard tram. Uh, I thought I had the recorder running earlier when, uh, when I caught the little babies out of here, but I didn't. So I took a couple pictures of them uh, put up here, and the, I caught two of them out of there so far today. Two little baby collared lizards, cute little rascals. And uh, I think that they hatched out in this hole right here because I saw one run in there that I haven't been able to catch yet. So eventually he'll come out and we'll, we'll get him sooner or later along with other ones as they hatch. I took the parents out of here about a week ago um, and when the, at the beginning of the month. I guess it's been a little bit more than a week, week and a half or so because I knew that there were eggs laid in here. And this year I decided to see if the eggs would just hatch if I left them in place. And I guess I've got my answer here. Uh, and then, by coincidence, on the same day I've got these baby... Uh, these baby Italian wall lizards, or Italian runes lizards, Podarsis sicula campestris. And they're in here. Uh, and I saw some babies hatch out of here. These I hatch every year right in the terrarium. I don't... I don't take them away from the, uh, I don't even try to find the eggs because the parents are so small and they dig in so far and it's just really hard to get in there. Usually I don't have quite this much weed cover but it rained a little bit this week in this, I don't know if these are morning glories or something but they just sprouted up and spread all over the place in the last week and a half or so. So I'm going to pull up some of these and see if we can find any little baby lizards. What I have to do for these guys because they're so tiny they're like as small as my fingernail. Uh, I have to set a little uh, pitfall trap for them, so I'll put this little smooth-sided ceramic container in there, and the parents can easily climb in and out of this, but the babies cannot. And I'll put this in a shady part, again, you know, near a corner, and uh, the babies will run, go running along, and they'll drop in there. And I'll just have to check this a few times a day now until the uh, hatching season is over and I'll pull babies out of there. So I was pulling up this weedy stuff and here's one of the babies right here. I'm gonna try to slip my thumb over here or my finger over here close to it so you can see how tiny it is. But you can see it's just a little tiny feller. It's popped out over here on this side now. And it's moving through those bricks and things. Oh, I didn't even see this one. This is the second one that was over to the right. Okay, so I cheated on this one a little bit. <laughs> I used one finger to kind of approach him so he'd want to take a little hop into the into this little bowl here that I caught him in. You can see how tiny he is. Let's see. You can see he's just teeny tiny. And I'm always amazed by these tiny lizards, you know, that they've got all the organ functions and they can do everything they need to do, even when they're so small. I've gotten rid of most of the extra weeds. And if you look over here, you can see where I've made their little pitfall trap for them. But this gives you a little bit better idea what it usually looks like in here. I have, I let some of these weeds grow a little bit, but I've I generally pull them up as they get kind of long. Um, you can see I use uh, foam insulation to seal any gaps around the framing in the metal. And uh, the, the lid is insulated, or the roof is insulated. This front panel here that's here for shade on part of the terrarium is insulated also. And then the screen cover fits tight against the wall. But these guys are so thin and so tiny that I always worry, you know, about them maybe weaseling in between the screen and the and the framing. And so I like to keep the the weeds pretty short so that uh, they can't. There's no chance they'll climb and get out because we don't want them out running around loose. We just want them in the terrarium to enjoy. Okay, so I see another collared lizard baby that keeps poking his head out from that hole right there and then when I come close it goes back into the hole so 
he's not brave enough yet to come out all the way and get caught. But uh, I thought uh, I thought I'd leave my camera going for a few minutes. We'll see if he'll come back out while I go do something else, and then I'll come back and get my camera and check the footage. We'll see if we see any baby lizards. <laughs>